Oh, hi. Welcome to another episode of In the Lab with Loctites. We're still talking about tapes versus adhesives. And today we want to talk repositionability. That's right, repositionability. The ability to move this once you put it down. Now, it took me 22 and a half minutes to put this piece of, of uh, plate on top of this other plate. Let's see if we can improve on that time a little bit. Hey, Phil. Oh. How you oh. doing, Chris? Good, how are you? What, oh, what are you fantastic. Doing? Well, uh, uh, let me just reposition this. <laughs> of course, Ooh. that's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's tape, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Chris. Really appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, this should probably go in the garbage. Okay. Sorry, bud. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah. So, repositionability. So, you kind of just saw it right here. We can't do anything with this piece right now. You know, this is. This is stuck in place. This isn't going anywhere. Yeah, but Chris, this took me 22 and a half minutes to uh, get this positioned correctly. And you know, in a, <laughs> in a manufacturing environment, when you're trying to uh, have good repeatability, uh, that's not going to fly. Yeah. So uh, obviously, with getting good position, it takes a lot more time to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. With our elastomeric adhesives, we actually find a really good balance between having that vertical uh, hangability, that green strength of the product, and also having a repositionability of it. So why don't we try some stuff out? Why don't you grab that gun right over there? Yeah, I know you've. No, I want the big gun. Are you sure? I want can, the big gun. You can handle it? I can handle it. All right. Bring it out. Oh. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what do I do here? All right. So I'm going to want to purge about a mixed nozzle volume out of there. OK. Squeeze the trigger. Oh. Look at that, huh? There you go. Is that good? Yep, that's good. Perfect. Great. Good job. All right. All right. Let's lay a nice little... I, I'm so excited. Chris, I got to tell you, I'm so excited. I've been working with this tape, and it's horrendous. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for that. All right. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Nice. Good job, Phil. All right, so let's take that, flip it on over, and stick it just somewhere around here. Hold my gun, sir. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. A little bit off. But we're okay, that's fine. So we want to take that and I'll just shift it down just a little bit. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's, that's perfect. Yeah, great job. That looks good. Got a little problem, Chris. Yeah. See, this I know is not gonna move, right? I can pick this up. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. What about this? Yeah, do the same thing. I talked about green strength earlier. Think about it like a billion little suction cups inside that adhesive. You saw that it's a relatively heavy bodied adhesive. So when you take that and you squish it all together, you actually get a force on this that's able to hold this in place. Wow, so it's just, it's as strong or stronger than a tape? Uh, eventually it will definitely be stronger. It's not as strong right now, okay. but it's developing strength over time. All right, awesome. So am I. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Chris. Appreciate it. And that was another episode of In the Lab with Loctite. For everyone watching, if you have any questions on this topic or any other topics that you would like to see explained on future segments, just call the Henkel Technical Information Line at 1-800-LOCKTYPE.